The huge explosion is an idea that has molded how we might interpret the universe, shaping the underpinning of present-day cosmology, as per Einstein's hypothesis and what is known as coarse-reading cosmology. The enormous detonation was the moment the universe started its expansion, denoting the production of all matter, energy, and reality. This event happened roughly 13.8 billion years ago and led to the tremendous universe we notice today. However, late developments in cosmology suggest that the huge explosion probably wasn't the true start. Rather, there might have been a stage before the enormous detonation that was equally significant in shaping the universe as far as we might be concerned. This prior period is known as vast expansion, which is one of the most fascinating parts of modern cosmology, suggesting that before the hot, thick period of the huge explosion, the universe went through an extraordinarily fast, outstanding expansion. During this period, the universe was multiplying in size at a marvelous rate. To illustrate exactly how extreme this expansion was, if the universe started smaller than an iota, it would have become significantly bigger than the whole detectable universe in a minuscule part of a second, around a million million millionth of a second. This expansion stage didn't last long, but it played a pivotal role in shaping the universe. When the inflationary stage ended, the energy driving this growth was released into space, warming it up and creating the particles of matter that make up all that we find in the universe. In many ways, expansion is the forerunner to what we think of as the huge explosion. While the theory of expansion is widely accepted in cosmology today, many unanswered questions remain. For example, we don't yet know what started expansion, what caused it to stop, or how long it lasted. These are open questions in cosmology, and answering them is crucial for a deeper understanding of the origins of the universe. Before expansion, the universe was an unimaginably dense, small place of matter, often referred to as a singularity. From this singularity, the expansion began and eventually led to the formation of atoms, molecules, stars and galaxies. The idea of the huge explosion as the start of everything is engaging, but modern cosmology suggests a more complex picture. Some hypotheses suggest that the universe went through a stage before the huge explosion, during which expansion caused the universe to grow at a dramatic rate, multiplying in size no less than a trillion times in a negligible fraction of a second. This rapid development was fueled by a mysterious form of energy that permeated empty space. When expansion finished, the energy that had powered this growth was converted into particles, heating the universe and leading to the hot, dense state we call the huge explosion. This inflationary stage was cold and void, but it set the stage for the formation of matter and the universe we observe today. One of the more speculative ideas in current cosmology is the concept of eternal inflation. This theory suggests that inflation didn't stop everywhere at once. Instead, it halted in patches, creating various regions or bubbles, each of which could be a universe of its own. Our universe would be just one of these patches. According to eternal inflation, there could be an infinite number of these universes, each with its own set of physical laws and constants. This is where the idea of the multiverse comes into play. The thought that our universe may be one of many or even an infinite number of universes. If this idea turns out to be true, it would explain why our universe is so finely tuned for life. In this multiverse scenario, every possible combination of physical laws could exist in different universes, and we happen to live in one where the conditions are perfect for stars to form and for carbon, oxygen, and other elements vital for life to exist. While theories like eternal inflation and the multiverse remain speculative, the concept of inflation itself is grounded in experimental evidence. The strongest support for inflation comes from the cosmic microwave background, CMB, the oldest light known to humankind. The CMB was emitted around 380,000 years after the huge explosion when the universe cooled enough for molecules to form. By then, the universe became transparent, and this light has been traveling through space ever since. By studying the CMB, cosmologists can essentially take a baby picture of the universe. The light provides clues about the universe's early days helping scientists understand what happened just after the huge explosion and offering support for the inflationary model. One of the key discoveries came from the European Space Agency's Planck satellite, which took detailed images of the CMB. These images reveal subtle variations in the temperature of the early universe, and these variations match the predictions made by the inflationary theory. 
This experimental support reinforces the idea that inflation isn't just a speculative theory but an important part of how we understand the universe's origins. Understanding the huge explosion and what preceded it requires the unification of two of the most important theories in modern physics. Einstein's theory of general relativity and quantum theory. General relativity describes the large-scale structure of the universe, including the behavior of galaxies, stars, and planets, while quantum theory, on the other hand, describes the behavior of particles on the smallest scales. To answer the ultimate questions in cosmology, such as what existence is and where the universe came from, scientists must develop a theory that combines these two frameworks. This would allow us to understand not only the huge explosion but also the conditions that led to it. One of the most astonishing aspects of the universe is its size. The most distant objects we can observe are around 47 billion light-years away, meaning the observable universe is about 94 billion light-years across. This may seem illogical given that the universe is only 13.8 billion years old. How could the observable universe be larger than the time it would take light to travel across the entire age of the universe? The answer lies in the fact that the universe has been expanding throughout its history. As the universe grows, the distance between objects increases, making distant objects farther away than the time it would take light to reach us. Most scientists believe that the universe extends far beyond what we can observe. Past the perceptible universe, truth be told, it is conceivable that the whole universe is boundless in size. The recognizable universe is basically the piece we can see, restricted by how much time light has needed to go since the Big Bang. There could be tremendous districts of the universe that we will always be unable to see. While it's conceivable the universe is limitless, the inquiry remains. Is there anything past the universe? Most researchers have one or two doubts of this thought. On the off chance that the universe is boundless, there is no past. The universe would basically continue perpetually. Regardless of whether the universe is limited, it probably won't check out to discuss anything past it. Existence and properties are part of the actual universe, so the idea of past the universe might not have any actual importance. Similarly, as the start of the universe is a subject of extraordinary focus, so too is its eventual end. The best current estimate is that the universe will keep growing indefinitely. This is due to a baffling phenomenon known as dark energy, which is making the expansion of the universe accelerate. Before the discovery of dark energy, researchers believed that the expansion of the universe would eventually slow down because of the gravitational pull of matter. There was even a possibility that the universe could quit expanding and start to implode, leading to a big crunch. Anyway, dark energy is pushing the universe apart increasingly faster. If this acceleration continues, the universe will continue growing endlessly, eventually reaching a state where galaxies float so far apart that they become isolated from each other. In this scenario, the universe would become cold, dim, and empty. Stars would burn out, galaxies would float apart, and all matter would ultimately rot. This is sometimes called the Big Freeze or the Heat Death of the Universe. The tale of the universe, from the Big Bang to its possible end, is perhaps one of the most significant and complex stories in science. While we have learned a great deal about the beginnings of the universe through the theory of expansion and the study of the cosmic microwave background, many questions remain unanswered. What made expansion start and end? What lies beyond the observable universe? Is there a multiverse, and if so, how many different universes exist? As researchers continue to study the universe using cutting-edge technology and theories that combine quantum mechanics with general relativity, we will undoubtedly gain further insights into these mysteries. The journey to understand the universe is ongoing, and every discovery brings us one step closer to answering the ultimate questions of our reality. The investigation of the universe's origins and structure isn't simply a scientific undertaking. It also raises philosophical questions about existence, reality, and our place in the universe. One significant area of interest in cosmology is the concept of dark matter, which is believed to make up roughly 27% of the universe's mass energy content. Unlike ordinary matter, dark matter doesn't emit, absorb, or reflect light, making it undetectable and distinguishable only through its gravitational effects on visible matter. Understanding dark matter is crucial for explaining the formation and behavior of galaxies. Recent studies and observations have provided insights into dark matter's properties, 
but its precise nature remains elusive. Several candidates have been proposed, including weakly interacting massive particles, WIMPs, axions and others, but so far no direct evidence of dark matter particles has been found. The search continues through a combination of terrestrial experiments, astrophysical observations, and simulations that model how dark matter affects the large-scale structure of the universe. Another critical area of research is dark energy, the mysterious force driving the accelerated expansion of the universe. Dark energy accounts for about 68% of the universe's total mass energy content. Its discovery was unexpected and has led to various hypotheses, including the cosmological constant and dynamic fields like quintessence. Understanding dark energy is vital because it shapes the ultimate fate of the universe. Scientists are studying the effects of dark energy on cosmic structures and trying to determine whether it remains constant over time or evolves. In addition to dark matter and dark energy, the study of cosmic structure formation offers valuable insights into the universe's history. Observations of the cosmic web, a vast network of galaxies, clusters and filaments, have revealed how matter, affected by gravity, led to the complex structures we see today. Simulations run on supercomputers help researchers understand how these structures formed over billions of years and how they continue to evolve. Astrobiology also intersects with cosmology as scientists attempt to understand the conditions that allow for life beyond Earth. The search for exoplanets, planets orbiting stars outside our solar system, has intensified, with thousands found recently. Some of these exoplanets lie in their stars' habitable zones, where conditions might be suitable for liquid water to exist. By studying these distant worlds, Scientists hope to learn more about the potential for life elsewhere in the universe and what that might entail. Furthermore, the role of fundamental physics in cosmology cannot be overstated. The quest for a unified theory that combines general relativity and quantum mechanics continues to challenge physicists. Theories such as string theory and loop quantum gravity attempt to bridge these two domains, potentially offering explanations for phenomena like black holes in the early universe. As technology advances, so does our ability to observe and interpret cosmic phenomena. Space telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope are revolutionizing our understanding of the universe by providing unprecedented detail of distant galaxies and cosmic events. With each groundbreaking observation, we are piecing together the puzzle of the universe's development and ultimate fate. In conclusion, the study of the universe encompasses a rich tapestry of scientific inquiry and philosophical reflection. From the fundamental forces that shape cosmic structures to the search for extraterrestrial life, our exploration is a testament to humanity's enduring curiosity about the universe. As we strive to answer these profound questions, we not only gain knowledge but also a deeper appreciation for the vastness and complexity of the universe. The interplay between observation and theory is crucial in cosmology. Advances in technology, such as advanced detectors and AI algorithms, are enhancing our ability to analyze astronomical data. These tools allow researchers to sift through immense amounts of information, identifying patterns that could reveal insights into cosmic phenomena. One significant area of research is gravitational waves, ripples in spacetime caused by catastrophic events such as colliding black holes or neutron stars. The detection of these waves has opened a new window for observing the universe. By studying gravitational waves, scientists can gain insights into the nature of these extreme events and test theories of gravity in ways that traditional observations cannot. Furthermore, the concept of cosmic time is fascinating. Unlike our everyday experience of time, which is linear and uniform, cosmic time is affected by the expansion of the universe. This raises questions about the nature of time itself. Is it an absolute entity? Or does it depend on the observer's position and velocity? Such philosophical inquiries parallel scientific investigations, highlighting the diverse nature of cosmological studies. The formation of the first stars and galaxies, known as the cosmic dawn, is another crucial focus. This period sheds light on how the universe progressed from a hot, dense state to the rich structure we see today. Observations of high redshift galaxies provide clues about the processes that took place during this evolutionary period helping researchers piece together the timeline of cosmic development. 
the study of the universe's origins and its eventual fate also raises questions about the fundamental nature of space and time. As we peer deeper into the universe's history, from the Big Bang to its current state, we encounter ever more complex phenomena that challenge our understanding. The discovery of the cosmic microwave background radiation has provided a snapshot of the universe as it was just 380,000 years after the Big Bang, offering a glimpse into the early conditions of the cosmos. However, many mysteries remain, particularly regarding the exact mechanisms that drove the rapid expansion known as inflation and the processes that led to the formation of the first structures in the universe, such as galaxies and clusters. The possibility of a multiverse, an idea suggesting that our universe might be just one of many, also stirs considerable debate among scientists and philosophers. If the multiverse hypothesis is true, it could radically change our understanding of cosmology. But this remains a speculative theory, as there is currently no direct evidence to support the existence of other universes. The integration of cutting-edge technology and interdisciplinary research is propelling cosmology forward. The development of more powerful telescopes, both ground-based and space-based, allows astronomers to explore deeper into the universe than ever before. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its infrared capabilities, has the potential to unlock new details about the early universe, including the first galaxies and stars. Additionally, advancements in computational power and simulations allow scientists to model complex cosmic phenomena in unprecedented detail, providing a deeper understanding of the universe's evolution. The study of black holes is another area where new insights are emerging. These enigmatic objects, which exert an immense gravitational pull, have been the subject of intense scrutiny especially since the first-ever image of a black hole was captured by the Event Horizon Telescope in 2019. Understanding black holes could shed light on fundamental physics, including the nature of gravity, space-time and quantum mechanics. The mysterious behavior of matter near black holes, such as the way it behaves under extreme gravitational forces, could provide answers to long-standing questions in theoretical physics. Moreover, the discovery of exoplanets, planets outside our solar system, has transformed our understanding of planetary systems. As more and more exoplanets are discovered, many of them in the so-called habitable zone, where conditions might support liquid water, the possibility of extraterrestrial life becomes an increasingly plausible question. The discovery of biosignatures or technosignatures on distant worlds would not only answer one of humanity's most profound questions, whether we are alone in the universe, but also deepen our understanding of the conditions necessary for life to arise and thrive. Ultimately, the study of the universe is an endeavor that transcends scientific inquiry. It intertwines with philosophy, inspiring us to ask questions about existence, purpose, and the nature of reality itself. What is the meaning of life in a universe of such vast scale? What does it mean to be human in the context of an ever-expanding cosmos? As we continue to uncover the mysteries of the universe, these questions will only grow more profound, inviting deeper exploration and reflection. As our knowledge expands and technology advances, the boundaries of what we can understand about the universe will continue to stretch. Every discovery opens new avenues for inquiry, and with each answer, we uncover yet more questions. In this way, the study of the universe is an ongoing journey one that challenges us to confront the unknown and continually redefine our place within the cosmos. The pursuit of cosmic knowledge is not only about uncovering the secrets of the universe but also about understanding ourselves in the grand tapestry of existence.